So a lot of people are asking if the iron lung out DPSs the pestilence and if we can also because of the new legmo gear set having that extra piece at the bottom the third piece giving it LMG damage is better to have on your build than the other pestilence builds of what we've shown before especially with the new backbone talent can we get more damage out of that second to that was is the new iron lung actually stronger than the pestilence well sadly to say per bullet yes it is and the status effect and everything else and the reload speed and being able to produce a lot of bullets faster is decent but the pestilence tick can still destroy things just as good depending on how you set them up so it's kind of a player's choice to be honest but we'll get down to this today So first of all, the iron lung. It's a really decent LMG for the rate of fire and the high damage that it has and being able to set a target on fire. So this new LMG, which is on my backpack, is actually pretty good compared to the Pestilence because allowing them to set them on fire stops them from doing damage to you at times, players or NPCs. It can actually be just as good as a actual Pestilence, though the Pestilence gives you really strong tick. So a decent build like this one right here is actually really good. Now you'll see I have all blue cores. The reason why is because this one's mainly for PvP. This gun in PvE, not so much, but PvP, it's actually really strong to set it up this way. Now I've tested damage to health versus damage to armor. The damage to armor just helps the burn do a little bit more damage versus damage to health. While most LMGs, you'd actually want damage to health. So we can actually show this right here first of why damage to armor, and we have to do this again. So we'll switch off to the backfire, which has no damage to armor and crit chance, no extra additives, nothing like that. So we're going to switch that off, and we're going to show that the tick actually, or the burn, changes. So we're hitting for 108 right now with something with nothing, but then when we put damage to armor on, see it jumps to 120. So that right there tells you that you definitely want damage to armor on anything that you're going to do status effects. So that's why we have two-piece walker. <clears throat> now, with that being said, we want to also make sure that this LMG, not just the status effects, but the damage per bullet is going to be at its highest. So when we do something like the Pestilence, we also want the exact same. We want those ticks to hit extremely hard or the weapon's damage itself to do some damage. So this way we put Wicked on to actually get some extra damage when we do a status effect. Now you can put Glass Cannon on your chest piece, whatever you want. Uh, you can put on Vigilance, but the Wicked is just... Uh, the wicked just guarantees that you're going to get the damage. There's another talent on here. I'm trying to remember. It was, there it is, Legmo. Uh, this one right here, the status effects won't do anything, but if you get kills, it can actually give you more damage on your bullets as well. So don't knock it. You can actually make that work if you want to. But having that third piece, as you saw, it has LMG damage on there, is not better than getting this simple two piece out and getting the same percentage and not having to put that on now you could even do this right here that one uh the uh, picaro's holster and trade that off there's tons of different ways to do this but you're going to get more damage out of this build than doing any kind of three piece uh trying to get that third piece because you're getting a wasted skill health which skill health unless you're actually going to be using a skill that's going to try to stay out there and survive like a drone or a turret it's kind of a wasted added piece to it. So there's no reason to actually get a third piece on here. So as you can see, we're doing with all blues, not bad damage, but as you see, the moment we get the status effect, it goes for 39. Now, no matter what you do on this build, a lot of people keep asking, well, why don't you put it towards status effect? Well, that's kind of an easy answer to go to because if I throw this build on, which is burn resistance, now you don't set me on fire, you don't get your wicked. It's 100% burn resistance. So if I put this on, you can shoot your bullets at me all day, you get the damage up, but you don't get the burn. So there's no point in doing that. So with that, 
this also, this build right here can work just the exact same versus the other one. You can actually switch this uh, piece off and get more damage per your bullet and still have the weapon damage and the damage to armor from your player and then get that status effect which works just off the pistol. So both of these builds work for both weapons. <clears throat> That's the point of this, is no matter what you do, we can actually swap off the Grupo, put a walker here, put the Legmo backpack on, and get the damage out. Now, you're going to lose the status effect damage. That's why we have a two-piece walker. We have the Petrov gloves, which gives us the extra damage to armor to do status effects and still do, still do damage. So what we want to show here is what is the strongest pestilence tick. So to do that, we're going to put this to elite. We're going to see if we can transfer the tick first. If we can't transfer the tick, then we'll just stack that one. But what we're trying to do is just stack it up, get some kills later. And we're going to have to do this anyways. So we're just showing that if you want to get the, uh, the backbone to get uh, the max damage, you're going to have to kill those targets over there. So, okay, we got one tick going. All right, let's go ahead and stack because it didn't transfer over properly and just see what the tick is. Now you see we hit for 1.36 mil. Now, here's the thing. I have a blue core on my backpack. The reason why I put a blue core here is because this one here that I currently have has a blue core. So we're not trying to do too much. Now we can put the extra critical hit damage in here. We don't really need that because that's just per the bullet. We're just trying to show the tick. So as you see, we're going to trade this piece off for the Grupo for a walker to get our damage to armor back. And we have the Petrov gloves, Overlord knee pads, the Foxes, and the uh, perfect glass cannon to get the most tick out of it. So we had one, three, six, three. So we're going to kill some ads over here on the left get the tick in the backpack to max out and it did transfer over okay we're hitting for that right now let's max out the tick one four seven two we're already hitting higher so let's see if we can get this to hit even higher now So what I've got now is basically we're just going to trade out some of these pieces. We're going to put on a perfect glass cannon, uh, trade out the walker, everything else. Uh, we're going to use the uh, the Picaro's holster. We're going to put on the backbone. And I found one with a red cord. Now we're not worried about the critical hit damage or the, the weapon handling or anything I've got right here. If you want to find a crit crit, that's fine. Mainly it's just the weapon damage core. We wanted to get the weapon damage core. So I just found an extra one earlier on. But that's all that's really going to matter is that one red core. So what we'll do is... <clears throat> excuse me. Sorry. Um, also, I found another neat thing. I didn't even know I could do this. I can actually select the gear mod and just go to uh, this right here. Go to offensive. I had no clue I could do this until now. I used to go down them a different way and try to find them, but now I just found out I can do this. That's pretty cool. So that allows me just to swap these in. I didn't even know about that. I wish someone would have told me. But we have a two-piece walker on now again. So we have a walker chest glass versus the perfect glass. We have a walker mask, the uh, Picaro's holster. We have the Legmo backpack. Basically, it's an almost an all-named built except for the chest piece and the mask so technically you could change that up uh put on the perfect glass cannon and put on like a, a coyotes you'd basically have all named everywhere and uh yeah this would still hit pretty hard but the only problem with the coyotes is that's per the bullet and we're trying to get as much of the tick out as possible so that's why we went with a two-piece walker walker mask walker chest piece so let's see what we can get this to we're going to put this to invulnerable. And what we're going to do is we're going to do the foxes first, and then we're going to do Sawyers to see if we can max this out and what the highest max is. Okay. There's our one tick going. Let's see if we can get some kills while the tick is going. It's written for 1.1. 1 .1. So 
So before we even get any kills, we're hitting for 1.1 on a tick. That's not bad. Get some kills. Let's max out a tick now. one point five we just jumped it up to one point five okay definitely the Sawyers it's got to reach higher than that it's gonna hit like what one point six something we're finally gonna be able to break the one point four one point five meter to get to like one point six come on Th this has got to be possible All right, we got a kill or two to keep the backpack going. 1.61, yes, 1.615, the new max tick. Damn! But wait a minute, while I'm thinking about it, I might be able to make this a little higher. I might be able to make it a little higher. Let's see if we could trade this off trade off the Picaros, put on a walker here like we had before. We have a walker walker, perfect glass, the backpack, contractor spot. I think I might be able to push this a little higher. I'm thinking it might push, it might get close to the 1.7. Alright, we got our kills. Come on, come on, come on. One six eight. I knew it. Yes, new max tick right there. Walker Walker, glass, perfect glass, legmo, basically almost an all name build with one exotic. So basically, if you just want to trade off the exotic, you could put on the foxes to give yourself maneuverability. But if not, and you have the Sawyers on, yeah, you can just get the damage out that way. But yeah, just having the Sawyers on would just give you the max, the new max, 1680. Golf clap. Golf clap. So yeah, the other cool part about this build right here is because you have damage targets that are covered, damage to armor all across it. It also allows you to throw a grenade and the grenade to actually do the damage because we found out that that's all it is. You can get more grenade damage by putting this on and even having this LMG, which is the new iron lung, this would actually give this more damage. Now the backpack talent will not give your status effect more damage. So you're getting the damage to armor damage uh, out that way from the two piece walker and your contractor's gloves and the glass cannon. So this is going to give your status effect right here, just the same amount of damage. So if you want to get the kills, to get that way you can see we're hitting for almost a million a headshot basically a million a headshot here so both of these guns work phenomenally on this type of build now the other one i gave you at the very beginning that had the two-piece um heartbreaker that's for pvp that way you can actually get some good damage out of it versus having to uh waste that glass cannon because you don't want to take that damage in also, you don't want to have to worry about trying to get kills for the backbone. That's where that build comes in. It's great for PvP. Again, different builds, different situations, both do the same. They would both give you really good tick, really good weapon damage, everything all around. So it's basically a double, it's which one do you prefer? Do you want to do the glass cannon backbone for the pestilence to get the tick out or stick to your vigilance? Or do you want to uh, go to like a Wicked? And you see, we're hitting 1.3 at some times when we get down to their hill. And the status does 43k. So again, it's still a good build either way. And all we have to do is get crit chance and critical hit damage into those spots. And our bullets would then be critting. But mainly, that, like I said, the tick and the weapon damage, it's just about the red core. That's why we have it on here just for now. So... Again, we can also show that our grenades are going to get more damage as well because that's going to help out the backbone. As long as you can get a kill with it, boom. So what we do is we just put a lefty shotgun on, which is on my backpack, when we toss our grenade to get the damage out that way because, again, grenades are based off that type of damage. So, boom, we hit for 1485, right? 
one four eight five now that we got the Sawyers up let's see if we can get some more damage sorry my stupid grenade was bugging out right there so I fast forward it all right one four is what we got one six we hit for one six so yeah basically if you have the lefty shotgun on and you get the the backpack to go you can get more damage 